Hi there, I'm Jasmine Veal, and here is a look at your top stories. The rush is on nationwide as people head from head home from their Christmas travels. Let's take a live look now at LAX just this afternoon. You can see the horseshoe. Yeah, that is looking calm. A lot of gaps between all of those drivers, mostly clear. According to Flight Aware, though, there have been more than 170 flight delays at the airport, but no cancellations. Our KCAL News reporter, Michelle Geely, she is headed to John Wayne Airport to take a look at conditions there in Orange County on this. Tuesday after Christmas. Of course, she will have more ahead at four o'clock on KCAL News. Today is the first day of Kwanzaa. The annual African American cultural celebration runs through January 1st. It honors seven, seven different principles, including family, community, and culture. KCAL News reporter Amanda Sarantino is in South LA where a big event is underway. I'm Amanda Starantino in South LA at Lamert Park, where a celebration of culture is happening today for Kwanzaa. You can see behind me just some of the vendors that are here that are all prepping for the festivities here at the park. After the parade comes through, that's coming all the way down Crenshaw, two miles of celebration with dance. We're seeing a lot of great cars coming down and a lot of really interesting people too. So that parade kicked off just after 11, and this is the year of Kuji Chagu Lia, which means the year of self-determination. This is the 47th year of what organizers say is the world's oldest Kwanzaa parade, and these celebrations are a really important part of Kwanzaa, too. So Kwanzaa is celebrated through January 1st. There's going to be events throughout the Los Angeles area throughout the week, so we're going to see things happening in Pasadena. We're going to see things happening in Long Beach, also in Hollywood over the weekend, and it's really just bringing together a bunch of people to celebrate African-American culture and traditions. We're going to have more coming up on that on KCAL. I know lots to do outdoors, right? Mother Nature gave us a beautiful holiday weekend. Dry, we needed it. It looks like calm conditions are sticking around for now. But as we go to our KCAL News meteorologist, Marina Derica, tracking changes that are coming in your next weather forecast. As you're heading out and about on this Tuesday afternoon, just make sure that you are aware that we are dealing with an air pollution issue. We have an air quality alert in effect for LA and Orange counties, as well as a good part of the Inland Empire. And that is going to be through midnight tonight, also with a wood burn ban in effect until midnight tonight. But temperatures are quite lovely all across the area. Highs today are going to be at 68 in Simi Valley, 64 in Malibu, 68 in downtown LA, 67 in Pasadena, 63 in Palmdale, 68 in Riverside, 67 in Fullerton and in Santa Ana, and we've got 64 in Laguna Beach. So pretty much exactly where we're supposed to be for this time of year. And highs today are looking great with 67 at the beaches with a lot of fog earlier this morning, but now we're just dealing with a lot of that haze. 68 in the LA and OC Metro, 71 in the Valley, 68 in the Inland Empire, 63 in the High Desert, and 55 in the mountains. So we need to get the air moving. It's stagnant right now. We've got a little clipper of a system that'll roll through tomorrow, giving us mostly cloudy skies and clearing up our air quality issues, which is awesome. And then Friday night into Saturday, we're going to be looking at rain moving in with our next system, and that's going to really help. Timing perfect for you New Year's Eve plans, as we will be completely dry and in the 40s. So you might need to grab a jacket if you're going to be out and about on Sunday night. And what about New Year's Day, right? Now around 10,000 volunteers are so busy at work this week preparing for the floats for the big Rose Parade. Let's take a look inside the warehouse in Irwindale. These volunteers are working on just a few of those floats of the nearly 40 floats that will be gliding down Pasadena's Colorado Boulevard on New Year's Day. Each inch, every and each inch of these floats must be covered with flowers or seeds, any kind of natural materials. We saw coconut crumbles, leaves, fruits, veggies, even bark. These are the flowers, the daisies that go up in the trees, and they're being cleaned because they're a little dusty. And once they're cleaned, we will be applying parsley on the green and then crushed uh, rice on the flowers, and then there'll be a live bouquet in the center. It's going to be beautiful. The floats are competing for awards in 23 categories, including best artistic design, most whimsical, and best use of animation. This has been CBS News, Los Angeles is the rundown. Thank you so much for joining us. We will see you at 4 o'clock on KCAL News, also live here at 3 on CBS News, Los Angeles.